The Pig by Roald Dahl, poem number three. In England, once there lived a big and wonderfully clever pig. To everybody it was plain that piggy had a massive brain. He worked out sums inside his head. There was no book he hadn't read. He knew what made an airplane fly. He knew how engines worked and why. He knew all this, but in the end, one question drove him round the bend. He simply couldn't puzzle out what life was really all about. What was the reason for his birth? Why was he placed upon this earth? His giant brain went round and round. Alas, no answer could be found, till suddenly, one wondrous night, all in a flash, he saw the light. He jumped up like a ballet dancer and yelled, By gum, I've got the answer. They want me for my bacon, slice by slice, to sell at a tremendous price. They want my tender, juicy chops to put in all their butcher's jobs. They want my pork to make a roast, and that's the part that'll cost the most. They want my sausages in strings, they even want my chitterlings. The butcher's shop, the carving knife, that is the reason for my life. Such thoughts as these are not designed to give a pig great peace of mind. Next morning in comes Father Bland, a pail of pig swill in his hand, and Piggy, with a mighty roar, bashes the farmer to the floor. And now comes the rather grisly bit, so let's not make too much of it, except that you must understand that Piggy did eat Farmer Bland. He ate him up from head to toe, chewing the pieces nice and slow. It took an hour to reach the feet, because there was so much to eat. And when he'd finished, Pig, of course, felt absolutely no remorse. Slowly he scratched his brainy head, and with a little smile he said... I had a fairly powerful hunch that he might have me for his lunch. And so, because I feared the worst, I thought I'd better eat him first.